A man remains locked up, accused of driving drunk and colliding with a deputy, causing the deputy's truck to flip. That deputy spent the night in the hospital, and damage can still be seen at the crash site. News Force Taylor Mitchell is in Logan County with new details. The deputy is now at home recovering after authorities say an alleged drunk driver hit him, causing his patrol truck to flip over here at Sooner Road in Charter Oak Road. I'm in constant contact with our deputy and he's in good spirits. It was around 11 Saturday night, a Logan County deputy on patrol driving northbound on Sooner Road. That's when investigators say Freddie Watkins ran a stop sign on Charter Oak and hit Deputy Williams Drojewski, causing his patrol truck to roll. The first thing you say when I got to the hospital was sorry about the truck. And, and you know, it's one of those things where uh, the truck's, truck's fixable. You know, the main goal is to make sure that he's okay and he's not alone at the hospital. Although he's now home, the sheriff says doctors are concerned about some of the deputy's neck fractures. There will be some follow-ups to see if, if surgery is going to be needed or if it's going to heal on its own. As for Watkins, he wasn't hurt. Jail records show along with the DUI complaint, he also faces one for not having insurance. Without it, the sheriff says this now goes back on the taxpayers. That's frustrating. Uh, you know, know how hard everybody works, but it's ultimately the taxpayers are the one going to bear the burden of this accident. Another issue, fewer deputies on the street. We're, you know, we're shorthanded as it is, and this, uh, this takes another guy off the street. But in the end, the sheriff is just happy his deputy is okay. What we've experienced is probably the number one threat on our highways is, is drunk driving. And, and luckily, uh, my deputy is, is going to survive through this. Just ask the public, keep my deputy in their prayers. In Logan County, Taylor Mitchell, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Taylor, thank you. And a crash report. Investigators were to a highway patrol said the deputy was not wearing his seatbelt at the time of the wreck.